Hi guys, me, and I kind of went shopping. Um, I can't do the, I have to kind of do the video quickly because I have some Spanish homework I gotta do and stuff like that. It's Saturday. So I think I'll have like three videos up because I made one earlier in the week and I made one today and I make this one now. So I was going to get started, but I got an Ocean State job lot. So the first thing we bought was this thingy and I don't have the box, sadly, because everyone was testing it downstairs to see if it worked on the iPods and iPhones and stuff. <sighs> um, but it doesn't, but we also found out that you can plug this into the wall and charge this, and then you can plug this into your laptop, and it charges your laptop. So, I'm just going to use this to charge my laptop. It's from Philips, and it was only like $5. I'm also from Ocean State Job Lots. I got these paper um, tab dividers, and this one comes with five, and it's worth $1.50. Yeah. No, no, it's my five five. It comes with five. Green, yellow, blue, white, and red. And I need that for Spanish. I got this one and this comes with eight, which is red, white, blue, yellow, green, yellow, again, pink and red. So I don't know how many I need, so I'm gonna scoff over. It was two dollars. Uh, and then I got some paper, filler paper, for Spanish as well, and I also have a, I have a binder, so that's what I needed for Spanish, and I got it in my Spanish homework, Ugh. but uh, I needed this for Spanish. Como se llamo, which means what is your name, learning, and then also the last thing I got from there was I needed a new mascara, so um, I couldn't really afford much because I had $2.25 left, um, so I got this. And I'm kind of afraid how it's going to work because I got the one from the dollar store and that absolutely sucked. It was disgusting. I kind of threw that away. But, um, that was a waste of a dollar. But, uh, so I bought this and it's from a brand called Diamond Cosmetics. I never heard of this brand. That's why I kind of a little bit wary. Um, open swearily. Okay, doesn't look bad. We're good. Um, that was gonna look like shit. <laughs> doesn't look bad, so, uh, when I run out of, oh, it's a little bit clumpy, but I will try this out. It was $2.50 for this and this eyeliner. It actually works really well. Oh my god, it's actually really nice um, eyeliner. So, I don't wear back liner to school, but I might start because, I don't know, I might start. But I got these two things and two, I'll tell you now, I'll let you know how this works. Because I have my um, two face ones and they're drying out, so I need to get a new one. And I'll see went to the bookstore. And my sister got some books. My mom got some books. My sister's obviously not here. Go dad. But um, I got three books. And the first one is called Make Lemonade. And I'll read it to you. Jolly is 17. She can't really spell. She doesn't have a job or have much of a job. And she has two little kids from two different absent fathers. Well, I have, I don't know. Jolly knows she can't cope with Jilly and Jeremy all by, all by herself. So she posts a notice on a school bulletin board, babysitter needed bad. No one replies, but Verna Lef Le Van, who is only 14, how much help can she be? I'm 14, don't judge me. For a while, Jolly, Jill, Jeremy, and whatever her last name are, extra are an extraordinary family, then about takes the first step building her own future, and Jolly begins the long, full process of turning lemon the lemons of her life into lemonade. So, can't wait to read that. And then the next book I got was I'll Stay Near You, One Story in Three. So I don't know what this means. Um, I'll read it to you. A cherished legacy or a curse. A girl from the wrong side of the tracks and a rich boy who adores her. Two, two teenagers love lovers who long to escape their small town to find fame and fortune in the big city. A drug, a drugged rock star. And a troubled son. 
drug. I don't know if that word is. All of these lives are mysterious and influenced by a gold ring. Subscribe to it with I will I'll stay near you forever. Who is it possessed on to next? Who is it passed on to next? And then the last book is Dead Little Secret, which is looked interesting with my four fifty. Um and it says Disney, so I'm guessing it's by Disney. I don't know. Uh, some secrets shouldn't be kept. Until three months ago, 16-year-old Carmelo's life has been fairly ordinary. Then a mysterious boy named Ben, you can see the whole role going on, <laughs> started junior year at her high school. And everything changed. Rumored about somehow responsible for his ex-girlfriend's accidental death, Ben is immediately ostracized, I don't know. I don't know the word is, um, by everyone on campus, except for Camille. Despite the rumors, she immediately, she inspectedly, I don't know, expectably drawn to him and his, to his touch. Okay, then. But soon Camille is receiving eerie phone calls and strange packages with threatening notes. Ben insists she's in danger and he wants to help. Can you he be trusted? She knows he's hiding something, but he's not the only one with a secret. So this actually sounds really interesting. I might read this first. But the funny thing is, the bottom says Disney. So, my chair makes a lot of noise. So, can't wait to read those. To bring it up, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.